Hi, Gabriel here. Do you want to learn more about Excel or do you want to learn more about Festival here Transform? Or you can learn more about how to make a forecast with Full here Analysis. If you want to discover more about this, see this video until the end. So now let's explore together this spreadsheet. Festival here transform is the most important algorithm of this century. This make a change of the time domain to frequency domain. Your input data will be your time series. In this example, I use sine wave function. Let's try find how is the frequency of this sine wave function. Let's apply fast for here transform and you find that main frequency is 20. Now let's see how works inverse fast for here transform. This make a chain of domain of frequency to the domain of the time. Here you have the frequency of 5 and we want to find sine wave magnitude by time for this frequency. You can apply inverse here transform and you find the sine wave function. Let's see how hem of noise works. To hem of noise you want to do FFT and after this use a filter high pass. This filter cuts all the low frequencies and after this you make an inverse FFT to reconstruct your time series. After this you can remove noise. This is a very important feature and many fields of the modern days. Now, let's see how you can forecast with this spreadsheet. Here, you have a time series. Let's make fast here transform of this time series. Nothing happened. Your time series needs to be stationary. Before you make your time series stationary, first add the equation of the trend line. And after this, make a subtraction of your values of your time series minus the values of the trend line. If you make this, we will find a chart like this. Now let's discover the frequencies. For discover the frequency of this time series, apply fast for here transform. Now we discover that the frequency of this time series is 5 Hz. With the frequency you can find the period of the wave. The period is 0 0.2 seconds. That means that every point that you choose in your time series will repeat with the period of 0 0.2 seconds. This point repeat here 0 0.2 seconds later. Not the same value, but the hopeful value. But this is good for making a prediction. And this point will repeat here. 0 0.2 of the period. 0 0.2 seconds. And this way you can make a prediction of your time series. Because you know what time the point will appear again. Or will appear hopefully again.
again. It is approximate here. It's not the same value, but it's the value that are very close. So I hope you enjoy learn more about this amazing world of Fourier analysis and I hope this spreadsheet can help you if you are if you want to make a forecast or learn Excel or start learn more about Fourier analysis thank you so much for watching and 